conditioned air from an enclosed space within a building, such as an office, hallway, classroom. Most air handlers also bring in some outside air. This is to ensure that there is always clean, fresh air in the space, and not the same recycled air over and over again. It is important to bring in fresh air to a space to prevent high CO2 levels and stale air. The return air and outside air both come into a part of the AHU called a mixing plenum. The mixing plenum is a compartment where the two airflows mix together before passing through the rest of the air handler. Next, the air passes over a filter. As the air passes through the filter, particles get trapped in the filter and are removed from the air stream. It is common for an air handler to include a pre-filter and final filter setup, where a less efficient air filter is used to clean the air before it passes through a high-efficiency final filter. Some air handlers include differential pressure monitoring devices to measure the pressure drop across the filters. The dirtier a filter gets, the higher the pressure drop which results in reduced airflow. Next, the air passes through the heat exchanging coil. The heat exchanger cools or heats the air in the process, depending on the type of air handler. Hydronic air handling units have water that flows through the coil. The water can either be hot or cold depending on if the air handler is heating or cooling a space. As the water flows through the coil, the coil changes temperature. The fan blows air over the coil, and the air is heated or cooled by the coil. Direct expansion air handling units have refrigerant that flows through the coil. The refrigerant directly exchanges heat with the air blown by the fan. Lastly, the clean, conditioned air is pushed out of the air handler into the enclosed space. The fan in the air handler draws unconditioned air from an enclosed 